And also coming to the end, Oliver, do you have any specific advice to young Grappians in their career um, building or uh, on the way to become involved in Grapper procedures? This would be really interesting for us. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think it's important as a young researcher to develop a clinical and research focus uh, if you can. And um, often when you're, um, you know, starting off a career in rheumatology or dermatology, there are many competing areas that you might get involved in. But at some point you have to select an area. I, I think it's impossible to be a master of all areas and you really have to focus on a, on a, on a topic or a subject that seems to grab your interest. Um, and I would recommend certainly um, psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis as an area that has lots of areas of interest and lots of things to do um, over the uh, years ahead. So developing that clinical research focus and following that I think is, uh, uh, is critical. Um, so, you know, get, getting involved in young grappa um, is important. Um, getting involved in whatever opportunities that brings in terms of involvement in uh, various committees that um, are already existing within Young Grappa. Bring your ideas to the table. Um, don't be afraid to uh, discuss them and um, uh, promote them um, and just and uh, get get responses from your um, Young Grappa colleagues, but also your more senior Grappa le leader colleagues um, as to how to develop those areas further. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and also being so supportive for Young Grappa from the beginning on and still continuing. Thank you for having the time speaking with us today. And it was a real pleasure. Thank you, Oliver. Thanks, Fabian.